All right, guys, this is the functional trainer from Inspire. It's the FTXC from Costco. The I've been looking at these for a while, and they were all in the $2,500 to $3,000 range. This thing at $1,500 from Costco was a good price. Costco had a sale. They dropped it down to $1,199, and I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, so the tax was about $105, so it ended up being about $1,305 out the door. It came on this nice pallet, roughly four feet by seven feet. It was boxed well. The guys delivered it for free to my house. I think I ordered it on a Sunday night, and I had it on a Wednesday morning. There was no surprises there. Uh, everything looks like it's packaged well, boxed up well. And we'll get into a time-lapse video here in a second where we'll see how the uh, assembly process goes. So here we see that this ended up taking an hour and five minutes to do, to assemble from start to finish. That included moving motorcycles out of the way, getting our tools set up, completely unwrapping everything. It was wrapped really well. It was uh, packaged very well, no dents, no damage, no scratches. All the hardware was there. Everything went good. I, I I'm very pleased with it, and uh, the install was straightforward, so we'll go ahead and get to the uh, review. All right, guys, the functional trainer has been assembled. It took one hour and five minutes with a buddy of mine helping. That's what you saw there in the time lapse, and that includes installing this thing upside down at first, taking the bolts out, reinstalling it. That includes uh, installing these rods up here into that before we realized that you're only supposed to install the bottom. So we made a couple mistakes, probably cost us five minutes or something like that. So, you know, realistically, you know, if you can follow instructions an hour from start to finish, including opening the boxes, unwrapping everything, throwing away all your trash, one hour is a realistic time if you have a buddy to help you. So immediately upon pulling this thing out of the box, I realized that it was indeed a good value. The bench is heavy. It's, I mean, it's good, solid bench. It's not wobbly. I mean, I can't believe they just threw this thing in here for free. It's probably worth every bit of $150. I already have a bench like this. It does sit a little low, you know, a little lower than, than probably what I would ideally like, but it's, it's great. It's solid. And I mean, there's absolutely no reason to need anything other than this. You know, if I had to pick something that I wasn't impressed with, these, these attachments here are not typically what you would find in the gym. I mean, these are more of like a home grade, I would say. Usually you have like a nice metal handle with a little roller and these straps are a lot more heavy duty. I mean, this is fine, it'll work fine. I'm sure it'll hold up fine. It just doesn't feel like what I'm used to using in the gym. Another thing that I'm not used to using is usually you would have like kind of like a spring mechanism, like a, a little kind of a pin with a spring on it that you pull out and reset. But this is kind of cool. I mean, I could do this with one hand. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think I kind of like it. I mean, it's plastic, kind of cheap, but everything else on this thing is built solid. I mean, this pull-up bar is, 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 I mean, it's beautiful, nice welds, ergonomically, like your hand position on it is good. Uh, it has a nice bracket here where you could put a tablet. It comes with a really nice um, rope. This is great for doing tricep work and uh, there's some good, Good exercise you can do with this thing. I'm pleased with this thing. It looks good. It looks like every bit of what you would find in the gym. Uh, you got your curl bar. You know, I don't never really, I don't really ever use those things, but uh, it looks to be really nice quality. Got this belt here that you can use for other things. Again, I'm not. I don't really use that, but if you did want to use it, it looks like it's decent quality. This is actually really nice. This is really nice. Again, I'm, I'm going to replace these things just because I don't feel like what I'm used to using. And other than that, this thing is awesome. $1,300, especially with a bench that's worth probably every bit of $150 for this thing. Tax, delivery, everything. I'm impressed with. This thing's solid. I expect it to last a long time. I would absolutely recommend it. Um, I mean, even the pallet that it came on was a nice pallet. I mean, just... It's just nothing cheap about this thing. So it was a great value. I highly recommend you guys get these while they're on sale. So that wraps up this video. I'm excited about this new machine. I'm looking forward to using it.
I'm happy with the purchase price. I think this thing's a winner. And I hope you guys find some value in this video, and I hope you guys got some of your questions answered. Thank you.